guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 9 of Jet on the Princess of Snow and Blood, so let's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My precious baby. If you only knew upon You're not going to try again, are you? You going to go with them this time? See, like, okay, let's go back to last week and before, you know, Jen went to go see Hannah or Elena. Um, for some weird reason, you know, I kind of thought that these two was going to have a relationship and they was going to kiss. I mean, because, yes, they both lost, really, everybody in this group, even the ones who are currently dead, dead. Um, they've all lost something. And, in a way, they were their own family. Even though, yes, <laughs> this family betrayed each other. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. I, I just, I hope and pray. Whatever's gonna happen next for the majority of these episodes, like, it, it ends well. Because... These three are the only three who are left alive. Um, we might end up seeing one or two of them die and only one living. And something tells me it's probably just going to be um, Hannah and Elena herself. Because, yeah, she has a baby on the way. But then at the same time, you know, we pretended to kill her the first time. What, you know, it wouldn't be, it would be serious and be like, mm, let's actually kill her this time. I mean, but that's manslaughter if you kill her and the baby. Don't do that. Like, oh, even thinking about that just, like, hurts. And I hate that. Well, that's good. You need some strength. I mean, okay, hold on. We all know, like, Saab was going to find out about Elena, right? That she's alive. I mean, come on now. Well, yeah, I mean, she got that bitch snatched out of her. I know. I know. I miss her too. Yeah. Oh, God. You'll see her again. Ah. <laughs> and you are Yeah. Who are you? Beat it up. Okay, wrinkle. Mm. Hmm. If only y'all still have protection. Well, I see he was alive.
sorry I ain't gonna bring her back, though. I mean, come on now, let's be a little fucking honest about that. No, because what else is she going to do? Do you want to go visit Asuka's grave one last time? Even though you never visited before, but it would be nice. You know, this is all you have to do with them after that. The right thing to do is to finish this. I think Azahi and everyone else would have wanted this. And then after that, you can die and you can be with Azahi. We all got that one friend who was also a day drinker. <laughs> you want him to use that? No, 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 Yeah, and we already know Makoto died already because of this thing. We don't need anyone else dying for this. This is not cool. Seriously? Don't you want to go to sleep? Oh. See, this is why you say no to drugs. Cause they're probably going to use it on her. Of course not.
Well, she has to be with you no matter what. <laughs> oh. But seriously, you need sleep. Girl, you are so drunk. <laughs> you are wobbling over. left of it. Is she planning to take those? Mm. Surprising that they're so well that's working there. Yep, pour one out for him. It happens. It's okay if you want to cry. You haven't cried since you saw your brother again. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, I would think you would be the one to fall asleep, girl. You drunk? <laughs> you need more sleep than her. I mean, seriously. What was the last thing that you ate? <laughs> Maybe you'll be able to. Finally, Jesus Christ. Like, we all knew that was going to happen.
Don't do anything reckless. Mm -mm. Yeah, but she'll be okay. I mean, dang, even though she drunk, like, they don't, oh. Mm -mm. That's a fucked up way to die. Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah, you probably do a better job with some liquor in you. So weird to be back here. Ha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Looks like I miss you too. I see you were clean. Mm -hmm.
Of course. So what did that note say? Because I don't even remember that shit. Mm. I wonder what the fuck that means. Is it a sign of a traitor? Something? See, it had to be something Makoto wrote. In that book, in the Merchant of Venice. But of course, we ain't gonna know what the heck it means until next week. Now, okay, the chick who was traveling with Sawa, that has to be the girl that they met, that her and Asahi met, who was like, um, taking care of this, uh, not the city, the small little area, little town that they were living in and such. I'm guessing so. But yeah, I mean, mm, to have a whole bunch of metal stuff in two at a time for 20 days. 20 days of hell? Ooh, girl. Mm-mm. That's a little too damn much. Like, uh-uh. Nah. But, you know, hey, when she drunk, she fight good as hell. I'm just saying, you know, ooh. Mm-hmm. You ever have a problem and bite her? Because she, mm-hmm, she kicks some good eyes. Like, damn. <laughs> when you want somebody yeeted, she will yeet for you. But, yeah. Okay. Jen. Because something tells me he took the blue, the pill, the drug. So, of course, he's going to be turning into one of them as well. But we're probably not going to see it. But, yeah, what does that marking mean? Is, is that something else that, like, maybe everyone who's taken the drug has? It has to be something Makoto put in that note. So, of course, yeah, once again, we ain't going to know until next week. But, like, oh, my God. Even her finally returning back to the bookstore where her and Asahi lived until they, you know, eventually both left, which, you know, it, it, it was weird to see, but also weird for her to return, now knowing the situation of the fact is Asahi is not alive anymore, she's dead, and to seeing a memory of her, like, huh, that hurt. Her even going to her hometown, um paying her respects for everyone and, and the fact that she is the only one left of her hometown and even having you know Nana look at her for a moment Nana comes onto her arm and she says like you know promise me after this is all over you'll die with me honestly that's very like emotional but symbolic at the same time because it, I mean because something had told me that even with the fact that Asahi wanted to kill her I was thinking that okay this series is going to either end with, you know, Sawa herself getting committing suicide or doing something but her to die. Or it would have been Asahi would have been the one to kill her, which we technically still got, but um, not in the way that Sawa herself wanted. And that maybe Asahi herself would have taken on the role of being the next Princess of Snow and Blood, possibly. But, nah, y'all <laughs> y'all literally said, no, we ain't doing that with the show. Like, mm, <laughs> you think of this? No, no, we ain't doing that. But, I mean, with, like I said, with the re remaining episodes that we have, because we are now officially on book three, and I'm guessing book three is the final book of this series, of course, we're going to see her die by the end of this. Um, I do want her to see Elena slash Hana one last time. Hell, I would still like for her to kill Jun because even though, you know, Jun was nice last week. And it's, I still don't trust him. I don't trust him. And, and it's just, you know, because everybody has their own individual motives of why they're doing something. So sometimes you can't really trust anyone but the main character of the show. Who knows what the hell is going to happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Jodan, the Princess of Snow and Blood. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.